Hey guys, I'm back here at Gas Axe Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee, with Mr. Tim Dixon. And uh, I'm looking at my 1978 GMC truck, Shannon. I was trying to do a quick video before Tim comes out of the, from eating supper. I'm a little bit early. It's got the, heck, the headlight bezels and grill and everything's out of it. So, ah, I got my new AC compressor on and the new radiator because Tim said the other one was rotten so we're trying to do everything right while we're in this position or Tim and Corey and Waylon are so I got the new compressor I tell you what guys I know I've said this a hundred times but everything's expensive and it gets more and more and more expensive Trying to look and see what's been going on. They've been working on this and the 88 OBS truck, Sam. So, yeah, that's those pieces for the fender. But, uh, when I first come into the shop, I thought. Man, this thing sits low on the front, and I realized <laughs> the wheels are off of it. It's just on the on the lift. Uh, you know, when you lower one down at the end of the day, you need to make sure it's kindly don't have no pressure, I guess. So anyway, I'll be glad when this gets done. Tim made a suggestion. Excuse me, Tim Dixon made a suggestion the other day about his wife was going to redo the seats on here and he said would you mind uh, when I bring the truck back if we just take the seat out of the blazer that's at my house a 76 blazer that my wife and I put penetral on cleaned it up blah 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 I know y'all seen it but I always have some new people that just kind of find the channel here primer is best and so anyway I'm, uh, that's the game plan as of now I'm going to wind up uh, keeping that comfortable milk crate <laughs> with the bicycle seat in it taking these bucket seats out and and hopefully Angie won't have too much trouble I don't want nothing fancy just kind of put it back like it is and uh, kind of match the rest of the truck when I get all that done when I see what color the seat covers will be then I'll know exact you know try to get exactly the right shade of to paint the inside of the truck so it's, a, it's gonna be a long drawn out process but you know what I consider it kind of fun and uh, just to see what something might turn out like this truck has already come a long way but I told my wife I said we'll just repaint the truck put penetral on it again and make it look the best that we can on our budget so anyway I'm real I'm real proud of it I'm just glad it's here at Gas X Chop Shop so I thought I'd do a quick video on it let y'all see what's going on with it uh, getting the AC once I get the AC worked I think the rest of the metal work will get will get done I, I don't think there's a whole lot left I mean the rockers the rockers on both sides especially the driver's side you can see that's kind of eat out and uh, I don't think there's any here. It might be a little bubble, but I'm not worried about that. This stuff right here, like I, like I was telling you in the other video, I, I don't mind this. There's a couple of little holes and stuff, but honestly, I don't mind it. I think I'm just going to leave it. I just want the rockers and, you know, a few little places like that fixed on the, on the old truck. Tim's already got started on the doors. Had a, had a, excuse me, I'm trying to hold this. Had a bad spot right there. But it's really coming along nicely. I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm very proud. And Tim and Waylon take their time and try to do the job right the first time. So I'm real proud to have them working on this truck as they do all my trucks. Tim, Tim jokingly says I have paid for his house. <laughs> Just, just kidding around from all the trucks. You have to go back through my video history on Primer Best and check out Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop 
on Facebook, Gas X Chop Shop, Axe is spelled A-X-E, and you can see a lot, well, some of the trucks that Tim's worked on just, just keep scrolling. That's what I do. Every once in a while, I get on there, and I'll scroll, uh, scroll up to, you know, older things that he's done. You'll see a lot of my old trucks that he's worked on when he, when he thought to take a picture of it, and uh, it kind of reminds me of how far some of the trucks that my wife and I have had, how far they have come. Uh, but Tim, like I said, Tim's worked on a bunch of my stuff. I have full faith in him, and he's a real good guy and my good friend. So, anyway, I just thought I'd show you Shannon, give you a little bit of update since we're here. I try to do this just because uh, it's interesting to me, and also if one of these days, if somebody wants, one of these days, if somebody wants to buy this truck, I, I can tell them to go back through my video history of Shannon and they can see everything that's been done to it. I'm not going to, I wouldn't lie about anything. So, I mean, I'm always truthful. Go back and look. If you don't like what you see, don't buy this truck. But uh, then once again, I want to mention metal work and stuff like that is very expensive. And, uh, and even to find somebody to do it, that's the thing nowadays, isn't it? It's to find somebody that does a good job that will do it. So I just thought I'd mention that, and I'm real proud of Tim and Waylon and Corey for working on this truck. Hope y'all's having a great day. You're watching Prime at his best on YouTube. If you'd like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I'm on Instagram, Prime at his best, Facebook, Prime at his best. I have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I'm also on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. So if you'd like to check me out there on that channel too, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I'm happy to be here at Gas Sack Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee. Y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. Catch you in the next one. See you later.